Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. This video is a part of the Fluid Structure Interaction series. In this video, we are going to talk about a model which is already there in the application library. This is about bending of a bimetallic strip inside a water stream. So what is happening here? We have a bimetallic strip and the bimetallic strip is kept fixed at a particular end and it is subjected to heating and because of that heating the bimetallic strip will tend to bend and that bending will impart some shear stress on the fluid. So we have different physics which are required in order to solve this particular case. So we should have laminar flow for the fluid flow. We should have thermal that means the heat transfer module for the heat flow through the solid and we should have structural mechanics or solid mechanics for solving the bending of the strip and the final thing is we need to couple all those physics in order to have the entire phenomena I mean those are the couple phenomena because if you if you if you think the heat transfer will originate the heat transfer will result in bending of the strip. Now the bending of the strip will result imparting shear stress on the fluid and this shear stress will change the flow field near the bimetallic strip. So you can see those are coupled and in a stepwise manner and that is why we have to take all the physics together and we have to solve as a combination and that is called multiphysics in ComSol terminology. So before we tell about the things in a stepwise manner, I would like to tell that we have started a particular service where we help you developing your model via video call. So if you want to have our support then write to us and the email ID will be given in the description box. If you write to us then we will fix a meeting and we will talk to you and then you can decide whether you want to continue with this service or not. If you want to continue then we would like to have a small contribution money so that we can sustain our work. So this is the basic idea. So let us proceed with today's discussion. So main thing is whenever you are dealing with fluid structure interaction then under definition you have to right click on the definition and you will have this option of moving mesh and you have to choose one of the things. So this will be under deforming domain because there is a metallic strip which will deform and that's why you have to choose this particular option. So here it is already chosen you can see deforming domain is there and the deforming domain is this particular domain. So the, this one is your bimetallic strip which is not chosen and the other I mean rest of the zone has been chosen because your deformation is allowed throughout this zone and that's why your rest of the geometry is deforming domain. Now laminar flow we have taken they have taken actually you can see there is an usual inlet so some velocity is given here that velocity is following certain function certain analytical function and that is why they have taken those analytical functions if you plot you can see this is how the function is and the step 2 function is like this so this 2 function they have taken as an inlet so in the inlet you have this kind of velocity distribution at the outlet they have taken zero pressure so this one is the outlet and initial values will be obviously zero and uh, yeah now we come to solid mechanics so in solid mechanics we intend to solve the deformation or the deflection or bending of the solid object so this particular object is you will be it will be defined in the material section if you see the strip is of iron if i zoom here you can visualize better 
so this is a basically bimetallic strip so the upper part is your iron and the lower part is copper so in our school level we have actually studied that as those two objects those two metals have different thermal expansion coefficient so because of non-uniform expansion there will be a kind of bending stress which will be acting and that bending stress will cause bending of the strip so in solid mechanics if you see we have taken linear elastic material and this is the linear elastic material metals are obviously elastic it has elastic properties and there is a fixed constraint that means this side is you can see this is fixed and you have heat transfer so why we have heat transfer because this bimetallic strip is getting heated up by a particular heat source you can see they have given a particular heat source in the bimetallic strip and they have uh, I mean this is heat transfer in solids and fluids so we have fluids and we have solid and heat is I mean getting transferred through all the zones because you have a heat source in the bimetallic strip so that heat source will initially enhance the temperature of the bimetallic strip and then there will be a heat transfer from the solid bimetallic strip to the fluid and we have to take care of all this effect that means heat conduction through the bimetallic strip heat convection from the metallic strip to the fluid so as a whole you are taking care of the entire heat transfer phenomena and that's why you need to solve a complete equation so where you can see this is the transient or the unsteady term this is kind of convection term because you can see u is integrated with this and this is the conductive term so we have both conduction convection here and that's why we are taking this complete form of equation now where from this u is coming u is coming from the laminar flow because these two are coupled and if you see in the multiphysics your uh, this is non isothermal flow coupling that means this is getting heated up and that heat is being transferred to the fluid medium and that is being taken care of by the non isothermal flow this thermal expansion takes care of the coupling between the heating and the solid mechanics so in solid mechanics so it will only deform if you put some load on it but here if you see we have not taken any load but from this multiphysics option this stress which is being generated by the expansion of bimetallic strip that is integrated with the solid mechanics so in the node you can't see it but in the multiphysics node it is it is basically described at the background so we can't see it but it is already defined in the background code of comsol so if you just take this multiphysics coupling that is the thermal expansion it takes care of the stress okay so once it is done then the ultimate thing is it will experience it means the bimetallic strip will experience some bending force and that bending will cause fluid structure interaction and that's why we have taken this deforming domain here and use if you if you see we have taken another multiphysics coupling that is fluid structure interaction so from here it actually takes care of the fluid and structure interaction so this is how these three physics are coupled this is a very important topic and uh, we, you can actually learn from this and you can actually implement this knowledge for developing your problem which will be in the similar line so now if you see the study this is a time dependent study and as I always mention, you should always have the idea of the time scale. So this operation may take in the order of 10 to the power 3 seconds and that's why they have actually taken the maximum time scale as 7 E by E3. That means 7000 seconds. So from the physics, you should have the idea of the time scale. 
if you don't have the idea you may get error in your simulation and that's why you should be understanding your physical problem you should have an estimation of the time scale and you should initiate your simulation with that time scale with an appropriate time interval if you follow all those protocol then your simulation will definitely run and always i tell if your simulation doesn't run then initially look at the boundary condition look at the geometric parameters and try to understand whether these things are viable feasible relatable with the real life scenario if it is so in most of the cases your simulation will run and even if it doesn't run after looking at all those effects then you have to give a secondary look there might be multiple problems coming in your model so basically you have to investigate and you have to look for the problem so today i stop here i will put my email id in the description box and i would request you to write to me for fixing a video call and we'll be happy to help you thank you